Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, we will discuss about one of the recent and latest feature which is being added in Power BI desktop version and that is visual calculations. So if you are a Power BI user, uh, a lot of features has been added in February 2024 updates and uh, we will be focusing on one feature with the demonstration. So I have opened the official Microsoft uh, website link for the Power BI for February 2024. So as you can see here, visual calculation makes it easier than ever do calculations that were very hard or even impossible. Okay. So if you are a Power BI user and you know how to write DAX, but sometimes you stuck on some complex uh, DAX functionalities because uh, most of the users does not have uh, a strong data modeling background or DAX uh, advanced level. So visual calculations gives you that flexibility to do uh, certain calculations which uh, were very hard or even impossible. So a new way of doing calculations has arrived. You can now add calculations directly on your visuals using visual calculations. So which are DAX calculations that are defined and executed directly on the visual okay so you can read more about this on this page uh, and the first thing is that you need to uh, basically make sure you go to options and settings options preview features and select the visual calculations and click ok and after you restart the desktop application uh, you will find that feature here as new calculation icon okay all right so we have an object here as a table as you can see here and the new calculation is enabled okay so what I will do I will click here and that opens a new section so this particular section is known as visual preview okay then this is section is visual metrics and we have a formula bar right here we have some uh, predefined templates as well when you click on FX icon you can see uh, we can add a quick calculations like running sum moving average percent of parent percent of grand total average of children versus previous versus next versus first versus last so these kind of calculations were very complex when you i mean start with the perspective of data modeling but uh, and writing a complex dax and consume a lot of time uh, but now we have some pre-built calculations available in visual calculations and gradually with the passage of time the users might be expecting to add more to make their life easier so let's get start first let's set measures okay and i want to do a calculation okay so what i need is i need to do a calculation which tells me net orders so that will be technically uh, the orders amount total orders amount will be subtract from returns okay so let's click so let's add a calculation so i will say this as net orders and i will use total orders field plus returns now why plus because we have already uh, returns amount in negative so if i use minus here so it will be adding here but uh, you know that plus minus will minus eventually so that's why i'm uh, writing a plus sign here okay now i will press the enter key and that will add a column here of net orders you can see here what more i can do is for instance if i add a year field from my another dates table okay and let me make it as a matrix and let me put here to the rows and so let me drag the year here on top of product container so as you can see in the visual preview i have year wise and then product containers and that calculation is being working fine now for instance if you want to uh, add it, this calculation or delete this calculation that's very simple um, as you can see here we have this visual calculation here and you can just 
click on remove data and that will remove uh, from here okay and one more thing which you observe here that we have uh, this hide from visual option now available so you can just simply click on this button and that will not be visible on your uh, visual okay let me just show in this is visual right and if you want to rename that or if you want to edit the calculation you can simply right click on this field and click on um, added calculation you can move upwards to top you can remove the field rename this visual okay so we will be adding a calculation from the template and that will be let's say versus previous so now here uh, you need to just add a field so what we will be doing here we will be adding a field here that will be total orders and within the previous we will again add total orders and let's press the enter key another calculation from the template so let me go here so i will click on fx button and let's add percent of parent okay so percent of the field will be here total orders so it's using collapse dax field would remain the same total orders and excess will be raw raws okay and just press the enter key so as you can see percent of parent uh, such as 0 0.28 0 0.24 if you want to format this as a in a percent format uh, you can add the format dax as well so what you can do is you will go here and click on this edit calculation button and we will be adding the format tax format bracket open go to the end and define how you want to make the percentage visible okay and let's press the enter key so as you can see here 28.1 percent 23.8 percent right okay so let me add another example for visual calculation suppose i have a line chart uh, this is uh, for four years 2009 2010 11 and 12 and the f explicit measure we have taken as total orders okay so i want to add the moving average line here so for that i need to i mean add another explicit measure by writing a dax and consuming a time so let's see uh, how easy it is now so i will click on this new calculation button and i will say that i need a calculation of uh, moving average so I will click here and uh, the field which will be using here will is total orders window size is 2 close the bracket a moving average line has been added here right and I can go back to my report and here it is so this is the official documentation of this particular feature that is in preview visual calculations let's see what we have uh, in, in this page uh, you can see how to enable visual calculations and uh, how to add them okay uh, using some templates so there are four different X's are there uh, all those X's are not available in the visuals you might be working on I mean that depends so it's also being uh, added here not all visuals provide all access some and some visuals provide no access as well okay and eventually if you stuck using any kind of uh, template you can see the examples here on this page but there are some considerations and limitations as well let me uh, mention few of them that uh, not all visual types are supported use visual calculations added more to change visual type also custom visuals have not been tested with visual calculations or hidden fields right 
and the following visual types and visual properties has been tested and found not to work with visual calculations or hidden fields so these are some of the names has been added here uh, what I think personally is that uh, there are still few very considerable limitations which I think in the next going forward months uh, definitely the teams would be working uh, to make them available because at this particular point of time you cannot use the visual calculations with the conditional formatting and eventually you cannot use visual calculations with the field parameters as well right so these are important things but i mean because this is the first month february 2024 so microsoft will be adding if if the community uh, definitely raises the points uh, you can't send the data categories on visual calculations you can't change aggregations on uh, visual calculations you cannot change the sort order for visual calculations right so these are particular things which we uh, this could be uh, needed in future um, similarly visual calculations and hidden fields can only be added and edited using power bi desktop while you can publish a report that contains visual calculations to the power bi service you can't add it visual calculations or hidden fields in the power bi service okay that's the cloud account uh, and uh, a visual calculations can't refer to itself on the same or different detail level personalization of visual calculations or hidden field is not available right so these are considerable things which a user definitely wants to but I mean at this particular point of time uh, this is a very awesome features in order to uh, minimize the efforts of writing DAX uh, in a complex way uh, so that's a good start from the Microsoft uh, adding this feature uh, I hope you will explore it in detail thank you